Hey guys, my name is Anush Datta and today actually I was going to make a video on farewell outfit ideas because I have my farewell coming up pretty soon so I thought that it might help some of you guys as well but then I thought that I already have a video on my channel about outfit ideas for farewell and most of you guys will wear a suit so why not make a video on suit mistakes so in this video I'm going to show you guys 7 suit mistakes most men make and how you can fix them but before we start this video, you know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, if you find this video helpful, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Help me get to 1000 subscribers fast. And yeah, with that being said, let's get started with the video. So mistake number one is not removing the logos and the tag stitching. So when you buy an unused suit, it will usually come with some X's and threads that are in the button, sides, back ones, and sealing the pockets. And sometimes you can also find them in the shoulders as well. And I see so many guys that don't remove them just because they think that it will ruin their suit somehow and in fact they're meant to be removed and they're just put into place to make sure that your suit stays in place when it's transported and it's the same thing with the logos when you buy some suits that it, they come with the logos over here on the sleeves and in the back and just make sure that you cut them they're meant to be removed and trust me it will not ruin your suit at all. Mistake number two is wearing a smartwatch with a suit. Now you should never ever wear a smartwatch with a suit, even if it's an Apple watch or a very expensive smartwatch, because smartwatches are just sporty. They're not elegant, they're not timeless like a good suit is. Now there are some smartwatches that do look like a regular watch and you might be able to get away with it. But if you have a regular watch at home and you wanna wear a suit, then just leave the smartwatch at home and just go for the regular regular watch because it will look way better and that's how you should wear a suit you should not wear a suit with a smartwatch mistake number three matching your tie with the pocket square now you should never wear a tie that looks exactly the same as your pocket square that's not how it's done your tie and your pocket square should complement each other but they should never match meaning for example if you're wearing let's say a navy blue tie that has white dots on it then you can wear a pocket square that is either white, blue or any other color in the world. But your pocket square shouldn't be navy blue that has white dots on it. You know you get those combos where you get the exact same tie and the exact same pocket square. It's a request, please do not buy it. It does not look good. Number 4 buttoning the last or the bottom button. Whether it's a 2 button suit or a 3 button suit, you should never button the last button. This is one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they first get their suit. They think that just because it has the buttons and the holes that you should button them all. But in reality, if it's a 2 button suit, you should only button the top button and never button the last button. And if it's a 3 button suit, you can button the top 2 buttons and not the last one. And that is because your body naturally comes in this V taper and then again it flares out. But when you button the last button, you make your body look like having a square appearance, which doesn't look good. Mistake number five, wearing regular socks or ankle length socks with a suit. I see almost 90% of guys doing this. They either wear their regular Nikes or Adidas socks with the, their suit or they go for their ankle length socks with a suit. And that just completely shows that they don't know anything about suits. You can only wear either full length socks or no show socks with a suit and nothing else. Now you can go for any patterns or any colors in these two socks but never ever ever wear those regular socks or ankle length socks. Trust me guys, if you do, I'll disown you. <laughs> Number 6 is thinking that you always have to wear a shirt and a tie with a suit and that is not true at all. Don't you think that you always have to button all the way up and then wear a tie? Now that is a classic way of wearing a suit. But if you want to experiment, then go ahead, experiment a bit. And to be honest with you guys, I don't really like ties. So I wear my suits normally with t-shirt and a sneakers or turtleneck. And you can also rock your suits very casually as well. So experiment a bit, you never know what you like. Also guys, if you want to see a video on how to wear suits in different ways, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll get it done. Seventh one is wearing too many accessories with a suit. Cause most of the time when you're wearing a suit, you're going for that classy timeless look and it's not really the best outfit to wear five or six rings and bracelets. Now I see a lot of guys on Instagram wearing deep v-necks and three necklaces and five or six bracelets and bunch of rings with a suit. 
and it's not a proper way of wearing a suit but that doesn't mean that you can't wear accessories you can wear accessories but keep it to a minimum maybe a watch a pair of glasses and a bracelets but that's about it so guys that's it for today's video i hope you guys found these steps helpful and if you did leave a like down below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet click the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any single videos from me also if you think that this video can help anyone you know please share with them it would mean a lot to me also follow me on instagram my username is at i am underscore anuj underscore datta and i give a lot of fitness and fashion inspiration over there as well also if you have any questions or any video ideas please drop them down in the comment section below i read all the comments i give reply to them all and with that being said i see you guys in the next one peace